the auto diagnosis revolution has come to Airbus Instruments, our Power for tool is now on EI Analytic. To get started, select the machine you want to diagnose from the database tree. On the machine dashboard, find the Diagnose button in the upper right corner. Clicking on it opens a new tab with the Auto Diagnosis tool. Use Load File Data to load vibration data from all your analysis points. A trend is generated based on the data from each of your machine's points. In the point section, choose the analysis point for your diagnosis. By default, the tool loads the most recent FFT measurement from the point, which you can use for your diagnosis if you want to. Or you can select a different spectrum from the trend by clicking on any point. Once you have the FFT loaded, you will see a list of potential faults and their probabilities. Click on a fault to see the reasons for diagnosis on the right, along with the condition that must be met for each fault to be present in the machine. These conditions will be marked as met if they are satisfied and not met if they are not. Clicking on any condition will show it on the FFT as a marker. If any of the conditions can be analyzed during the auto-diagnosis test, it could significantly impact the results. To prevent this, it's crucial to consider the following points. The rotation speed. In many cases of faults, frequencies like 1x and 2x are examined, so it's vital to accurately set the motor's rotation speed. Keep in mind that when you create a machine, you can specify the machine rotation speed range in revolutions per minute, like shown in the video. Bearings For certain faults that demand the analysis of a bearing, you must have previously incorporated that bearing into your analysis point. In your analysis point settings, within the bearing section, you can add it using any of the available options. Couplings Under certain conditions, it becomes essential to examine data from machine's coupling. With the machine learning manager, you have the option to include a coupling between any of the analysis points like shown in the video. Severity alarms The alarm levels for severity play a role in the auto-diagnosis process. Often we compare the vibration values to predefined limits. By default, our machines are configured as a class 2 machines per ISO 10816 standards. However, you can change these severity alarm levels for each one of your analysis points in the access configurations. Simultaneous measurements Sometimes it is essential to gather data from multiple axes or points at the same time. If you're using a wiser, you can achieve this by adding an extra accelerometer to capture data from both points at once. For phantom sensors, you can use the Phantom Sync tool found in Gateway 2.0 to receive data from two or more sensors at the same time. Wait no more and start using our auto diagnosis tool today and take your analysis to the next level. For more detailed instructions or machine configurations or the Phantom Sync tool, check out our manuals available for download in the video description. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our technical support team, we are here to help.